multi-shaft transmissions. And basically, if you look there, it looks like a, uh, a standard thread chase or tap. And oh, no. lessening gravity there. I usually spray a little bit of WD-40 in there, and then I'll start running it in. And I take it in until I... It is kind of bad. All right, until I get down there a little ways. It seems like I've got several threads engaged. So then I'm going to run the nut down and take a little bit of grease. I'm glad that we have some. Uh, I'm glad that we have some good commentary in the background. Thank you. It adds to the uh, quality. It really adds to the quality of this particular video. Yes. And then it. Uh, and then I'd say probably. Let me grab a uh, adjustable wrench here. Or, You're much prettier on the inside. Yes. Shallow how would really like me. Shallow how. I watched that yesterday. All right, so I went ahead and I greased everything up, and what that'll do is allow me to have a little bit uh, less resistance when I start tightening the nut down. And through tightening the nut, what that's going to do, supposedly, is pull this bushing out. Well, you know, so far, so good. It's like fishing, oh. though. You don't know until you pull it up. Right. Could be a log. Could be an old shoe. Could be a license plate. Give me some but it's a bushing. There you go. Bushing. You can see right there, the bushing is now out. Now, I had to take this one out first because there's another bushing that's way down there. And what I'm going to do is do the exact same thing with it, which is well, WD-40. You could use something like uh, Tap Magic or something like that to work as well. And I'm going to go ahead and get it started and run it down in because this tool will not go down into the shaft without that first bushing out. So it would probably be really bad if you put the top bushing in first or that would keep you from actually getting in there. And it got kind of tight there and I don't want to stress this thing out too bad. But we'll put a little bit of grease on there. And, all right, we're going to have to pause because I'm going to need to get another wrench. Yeah, yeah, it's like a 13 to me. There we go. And to get a little bit of extra leverage, I'm going to go ahead and bring the T-handle out and just start tightening. There it is. And there's the other bushing right there. So you can see it's out. And if you go over to your friendly part supplier, this one shows too. This is the kit that you get. All right. And what I like to do is I think I'll take a little bit of brake clean and spray down in there, and then just blow it out. So we've got a can of brake clean. Handy. So, that's, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs>
potentially block a passage or something like that. Now, then, some people prefer to do this and some people prefer not to, but you could take a little bit of Loctite and put on the outside of the bushing. Here is the bushing driver, if you could see here. And the bushing driver is precision machine, so when the tool bottoms out, it's in uh, the correct depth. So I could take a little bit of uh, Loctite, drop it on there. And you know what? Probably what a person ought to do is put a little bit of grease to hold it on there. So I was wondering if it held it yeah, it'd be nice if it had a little bit of an interference bit there. Put a little bit of grease on there. That'll hold it on. And then... Uh, we got a steel one of them. Let me grab a brass one. So about this size? Play the Baywatch theme there. That's true. Well, that's for the extra shaft. Okay. That's for the other shaft. So, and then this guy right here, stick him on. We'll transfer the handle. I did. I did. It's behind the scenes. That comes out in the, uh, the DVD extras. There we go. And that's in. And now we've got two bushings that are down in there. And um, those are basically for the benefit of a, a good seal on these feed pipes right here. We've got another feed pipe that goes on the outside of this feed pipe. But it gives you a nice uh, uh, fresh surface so you don't... Uh, leak as much. All the pressure goes to the clutch, hopefully. That's it. The next one's pretty much the same same exact way. It's just on the different components. All right?